Good evening, everyone. Welcome, and thank you for joining us. This is Shaco Sessions Live. It's a weekly live video streaming concert series promoting Richmond's vibrant music scene and rejuvenating your soul with live music from the comfort of your own home. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Shaco Sessions Live. We are so happy to have you here. Uh, welcome to the regulars. Welcome aboard to the newbies. We're glad to have you. Tonight, it is our distinct pleasure. These are some of my studio regular favorites. Uh, Michael Hawkins and the Brotherhood. Michael Hawkins is a versatile and well-rounded virtuoso jazz bassist, playing and writing in multiple sub-genres on both acoustic and electric bass. Hawkins has recorded and toured extensively with acclaimed pianist Cyrus Chestnut, Eric Reed, and John Hicks, saxophonist Donald Harrison, Jimmy Heath, Gary Bartz, and Antonio Hart. Art. He's also shared the stage with vocalist Vanessa Rubin, Carla Cook, and the incomparable Leon Thomas. Michael currently resides right here in the RVA with his wife and kids. He performs frequently with several local groups, including the Brotherhood. And most recently, he's been concentrating on promoting himself as a leader, focusing on promoting his band and making jazz great again. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. <laughs> that actually came, um, actually, uh, there's a, a musician and songwriter, he's an excellent songwriter, a young man named James Johnson, lives here in the area, yeah. and we did a gig a couple of years ago, and he actually came up with that slogan, all right. and we all bust out laughing, but I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I use it. I use. I've used it. You know, before as hashtag when I post, but I don't post much on Facebook. But when I do, you know, I I stop for a while, but I'm gonna start doing. It. And you're learning Instagram. Yeah. And you know how I know? Yeah, how you know? That's from the podcast. This room sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna do something uh, written by Dr. Hill, and we was it was recorded right here, and um, it's a declaration. <laughs> of new thinking and a new everything, you know? And so this has been like a, a theme song of mine, you know? But it's called Therio, and I'll let Dr. Hill tell you what, what that's all about. One, two, uh, two, one, two,
Making it great indeed. Matt Carboneau's watching. Rodney Stith is watching. Yes. Is it El Danita Coates? Do we know? Okay. And okay, okay. She's watching. Says, um, all right, sounding good. Dancing in my kitchen. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Hawkins and the Brotherhood, please be sure to stuff the virtual chip jar, tip jar. Share the link with your friends. We still need you to watch and comment and do all the things that we love you to do. We know you're watching. We know you're listening. We know you like it. <laughs> and then we need you to react. <laughs> we need you to take action. Put the cocktail down for just a quick second. <laughs> I did. I felt like I needed a... A cocktail and a soft velvet, you know, uh, booth here. That oh, yeah. is lovely. <laughs> velvet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm setting the scene. I can feel it. <laughs> uh, it, I was, it just came to mind an old Saturday Night Live skit, Velvet Jones, Eddie Murphy. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he was head to toe in velvet, velvet I believe. Jones, yeah. <laughs> he had a different message, though, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this next tune, well, this tune that we just did, Ferio, was recorded here, and it's on Weldon's um, CD entitled Free, uh, Free Expression. So, you know, it's an excellent CD. It, 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 um, oh, we're all on it. Yeah. And it's, it Desiree's on it. Yeah. yeah. All right. This next one is, I have a cousin who lives in California, and he is like a genius, man. He's an artist, songwriter, the whole nine, man, and... Um, he wrote, um, years ago when I was doing a tour, we were out in California, he came to go vi come visit me, you know, and w see the concert, and we exchanged numbers, and ever since then, he, would, he had built himself like a studio in, in his garage, you know, and um, he would record songs, send them to me, you know, and uh, I, would listen to, you know, I would listen to him at the time, and, you know, I, yeah, that's cool, that's really good. So maybe about, maybe... Five years ago, six years ago, I was cleaning up because I have like CDs everywhere. <laughs> and uh, I happened to find one and I put it in and listened to it. And I was like, this is crushing, <laughs> you know? Nice. So um, his name is Darren Kelly and he wrote something. And it was inspired by the movie The Martian. And uh, yeah, and it's called Martian Ghetto.
<laughs> Very nice. The room is filling up. Let me tell you guys what. Uh, Jakari Diggs says, thank goodness I have insurance on my laptop in case of overheating. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra Jefferson says, God bless you guys. Keep jazz alive. Vu at swing. Uh, D. Robinstein is watching. Hello. Um, this is incredible. This is the first time I've ever heard really appreciated that subtle rise and fall and the, the pullback and the swell yeah. of jazz. I've never appreciated it as much as I do right now. That's amazing. It's beautiful. I love it. It's like a little bit softer now. And then, <laughs> and then somebody, you know, somebody else has, yeah. you know, a little piece. That is gorgeous. It's Thank beautiful. You. Thank you. Uh, before we move on, let me just introduce, and, and for, for, for most of us, we all know, you know, <laughs> but on piano, the doctor himself, Dr. <laughs> Weldon Hill. And on saxophone, he's a saxophonist. <laughs> and they call him sax mode because he plays Mo sax. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> <laughs> professor, Professor James Gates. Yes. And on drums, we, we know who this guy is. He's probably one of the greatest musicians, producers here on the planet. Here on the planet, Devon Harris. DJ Harris. And of course, my name is Michael Hawkins, and we are the Brotherhood. The Hawk. Now, what makes this so special is, is that, um, you know, what the Brotherhood represents is are, are all of the... Um, musicians that come out of Richmond. Now, this, Richmond is a rich, rich history when it comes to jazz. Very rich history. James Gates' father. Boo Gates one of the premier tenor saxophones in the area. You know, Weldon Hill. So what we represent are three different, like, um, three generations of musicians, you know. Weldon and Gates sort of came up together. And then what they did was they put their arms around me and embraced me brought me up, you know what I mean? And then after, the, and I'm, I hope the least I can do is bring the generation behind me and do the same, you know? But the one thing that's really happening is that the generation behind me, which Devon represents, they're doing there so many different things that yeah. we didn't even think about, we were, you know what I mean? <laughs> they're, 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 you know, they, they see so, further, so far further ahead than what we did. You know, and, and it, it then shows, you know, it shows in what they do. So, well, you mentioned on the podcast, you think that jazz is going to have a renaissance. Oh, yeah. After. You know, so this, um, they're this, the ones, uh, mm -hmm. this um, pandemic that we're going through is a reset. And for whatever, whatever anybody does, if you, you know, you could be an actor or you can be a bricklayer or you could be a pimp, you know, <laughs> it's time to put your pimp game to the next level. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It is and time to get a coordinated reset. suit yes. and shoes and Velvet, hat. Velvet Jones. The Velvet know? Jones. There we go. It all comes together, yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah, I love it's, it. It's, Full it's, circle. It's, like, it's, time to, it's time for whatever you're doing to put it on the next level. And so what's happening, and what's happening is those, um, especially in, in jazz, because, you know, I love all types of music, but jazz is the music that I choose to express myself through, yeah. you know, and I love all types of music. Yeah. But... Um, you know, like the jazz club, there's so many historic jazz clubs, especially when I was living in New York, that, living in New York, that closed down. But the ones who prepared, thought forward thinking, they're still here, you know? They're still here and, and they're, they're preparing for the next, the next level of what's gonna be happening in music. And this is an example of it, you know? This is a prime example of it. We are lucky. So, you know, once this um, pandemic breaks, it's going to be wide open for everybody, you know. Yeah. <laughs> wide open, you know. With the get down. 
<laughs> okay, so this next tune we're getting ready to do is, um, we talked about this on a podcast. What podcast was that? Uh, um, this, this Room, room sounds, sounds Great. great. Yes, oh. This Room Sounds Great. <laughs> and um, this was inspired by me just trying to get home. Oh, right. Yeah. This is a, that was a great story. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. But even that story has, has sort of like a, a, a preface to it because years ago I did a um, gig in, in Alaska, Juneau, and uh, we had gotten there a day before the gig, so we had a lot of time, and we couldn't even leave right after the gig. We had to stay like three days, and the sun never went down, you know, and I didn't sleep for three whole days. <laughs> and it was the most miserable, you know, I didn't have the energy to play or anything because I just, you know, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't do anything, I just stayed up all night. Tried to make it look like it was nighttime <laughs> by shutting my windows and shut shades and stuff, but it didn't work. So, um, but that was the preface to this, but this is about getting home, so. Mental, we were talking about being tired, you know, and discovering that just looking through a, a, a computer all day gives you a sort of different feeling of being tired. So, and um, learning that being tired mentally is just as tiring, I guess, as being tired physically. So if you can imagine doing your day's work and then you have to drive home and the more you drive, the longer it seems <laughs> your drive is, you know. So, <laughs> you know, and you could be thinking and drive, oh man, I should be home in a couple of, but look at your watch, you've only been driving 15 minutes, you know. So this is called Blues for the Weary Traveler.
Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Michael. That's the first one that you've played tonight that you wrote, right? Oh, no. Um, no. Yeah, this is That's the first, the first one, one that you. Yeah. That is yeah. magnificent. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That we, is we recorded, beautiful. We recorded this here on Weldon CD, um, free, free Expression. We recorded this right here. Oh, Michael, yeah. that was incredible. Did you just feel the anguish? A hundred percent. Well, we, when we had our conversation on the podcast, you mentioned you want people to feel something. We yeah. were kind of talking about the difference between a feeling and a mood. Yeah. And I just felt the yearning of, please, where is my driveway? <laughs> please, where is it? That was yeah. beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank Absolutely you. beautiful. Thank Ladies and gentlemen at home, please. <laughs> Stuff the virtual tip jar. The links are at the bottom. Please donate. These gentlemen are world class. Did you hear the complexity? Did you hear the yearning in that? That was incredible. Please support these musicians. They need our help right now. Not only do we support musicians and what they do, we like to support physical and tangible and tactile artists wow. as well. Wow. Ooh la la. We were talking Jeopardy earlier. Here's my Wheel of Fortune Vanna White moment. Um, <laughs> this is the artwork of Anna Smith. She's currently living and working in Richmond. She attended VCU School of Arts, where she received the Peachtree Merit Scholarship and the Teresa Pollock Memorial Scholarship. In 2016, she earned her Bachelor of Fine Arts in Painting and Printmaking. She's participated in group shows at Glaive Coson Gallery, Gallery 5, and has work in the Capital One collection in Richmond. This fall, she was honored to be chosen for the People's Choice Award at the annual In Light Show, juried by 1708 Gallery on the grounds of the VMFA. And this spring, she'll be one of the resident artists at the Paris Atelier Fellowship in Paris, France for March and April. This is Amy Marie Smith. You can visit her at amymariesmith.com. And on Instagram, she's Amy Marie Smith Marie. I love how delicate her work is. It is so just, it's intricate and it's light and there's lots of breathing room and the colors are just subtle and kind of has the palette of, cla of classic paintings, but then the motifs are really contemporary. She's really talented. She's got a series with uh, cats and dogs as well in like scoops of ice cream and sandwiches, like really cute cartoony mm -hmm. um, sort of style. She's incredibly talented, so please support her. It's amymariesmith.com, Amy Smith. Um, thank you so much for loaning us your work and please support her, go visit now. Lots more people in the room, gentlemen. Jasmine Hawkins. <laughs> Hey daughter. dad, oh. hey dad, say hey to me hey, and, and Aaliyah. <laughs> She's up in school in Boston at uh, Emerson College. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. She's saying hello from afar. Kathy Walker is watching. Kelly Kearns is watching. Roderick Williams is watching. Samuel Branch said, if you think Saxmo can blow, you ought to hear him sing it. Moore Street Baptist Church. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gina Bigley in Illinois is watching. Uh, Sherelle Hawkins is watching. Lainey Sullivan, she's going That's to be wife. on with us next week. Yeah. Who? Oh, Sherella. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see who else. Yeah, it's filling up. Not as we've got uh, more clapping emojis this time, I guess, since we're jazzy tonight. Okay. <laughs> we'll take it. Snaps and jazzes and hearts. <laughs> Lots of love. Well, hopefully, we'll get some fire on this one. All yeah. right. This one is uh, the the name is the title of it is is indicative of what this song is. It's called Wide Open. One. Two.
Saxamo Gates. Yes. We know why you call him Saxamo now, because yes. he plays Mo Sax. Devon Harris on wow. drum. That was a tune written by me. It's called Thankful. Yes, sir. And uh, it's a long emotional story. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. The, the drums were so unexpected, and then Weldon had me on the edge of my seat with, with, with the one piano bit. Oh, and, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then it got sultry, and then it was lively. Yeah. That's amazing. That one before that was uh, wide open. And, and what I, I love about playing like this tune is, like, I think even though we have like the song, and the song has like, you know, form and things like that, it's still like a, the song is just like a canvas. And, and I love to see what type of brush, you know, Weldon's going to use, you know, what Gates is going to use. He's going to use a big, thick brush, you know, or is he just going to take the paint and just throw it up there, you know? <laughs> maybe, yeah, there, yeah. maybe there's going to be a happy tree somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, it's, all, it's all about how he feels at the moment. And, you know, sometimes he may feel, you know, and he wants to use like a little small brush, you know, delicate strokes, or then get a big one and go, shoop. You know what I mean? So, it's, you know, I, I love to hear that, you know. And, oh, and so do we. That and, was uh, incredible. Thank you. thank you. Just beautiful. You may be the king of mind-blown emojis. There, there are a lot of flame emojis and clap emojis, but then there are heads exploding emojis. So I think you can take that. Yeah, thank wow. You. Just wow. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this, our last tune is, is something... Um, it's actually written by a great pianist named George Cables, and he wrote it um, in dedication to his wife. It's called Helen's Song.
Fantastic. Dr. Weldon Hill. Yes. James Sassimo Gate. Devon Harris, DJ Harrison on drums. My name is Michael Hawkins. Oh, We're the Brotherhood. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Michael man. Hawkins and the Brotherhood, please tip generously for this kind of talent. <laughs> oh, my stars, that is amazing. We have to thank everybody behind the scenes. We're in Studio A at In Your Ear Studio, and I don't do this alone, believe it or not. <laughs> thank you, everybody here at In Your Ear. Carlos, <laughs> the doctor. Carlos for president. <laughs> Carlos for president. <laughs> 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 thank you, we, MC Reese. Thank man. you, thank MC, you very much. Yes. We need to change the shirt to "Making Jazz Great Again." You're doing it. You're actually doing it. So we we need to thank Carlos, Andrea, Paul, Matthew, Eric, Billy, Charlie, Dave. Uh, thank you very much to everyone tuning in at home. Thank you to Amy Smith. Join us next week at 7:30. It's going to be Holy River. We're going to have a special four-legged guest. I'm very excited about. Uh, be sure to turn tune into Kid Pan Alley. They've got their Because We Love Music series. That is this Sunday at 7 p.m. They're going to have Tom. Kim Kimmel, Georgia Middleman, and Paul Reisler. So go to kidpanalley.org. And of course, listen to the podcast. This room sounds great. That's how you can hear all these cool stories about everybody that performs every week. Share, share, comment, support, all of it. Do all the things. We want all the things. We do all the things for you. Uh, that's our show. We'll see you next week. That's a wrap. <laughs>